para ti, ojos están. Hello. We are back with episode six of Dickinson. I'm very excited to see how this is gonna continue, what's gonna happen. I really hope to have more Sue and Emily interaction and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen with her publishing poems. I don't know, I'm just excited to keep watching. So I just wanna get down to it, so let's do it, let's go. Italian production and overwrought. Why do you always use such big words? Oh, this better be entertaining. Tickets cost me an arm and a leg. So she knows them? them? I don't know. Look, they're so nice. Hi. Wow. <laughs> Still, you look incredible. So do all of you. Yeah, how is Aunt Lavinia's? Uh, she's nice. How is the hotel? Oh, it's fine. I mean, good enough for a night or two. I wouldn't stay there for longer. Yes, I don't think you could afford to stay there for much longer. So, is everyone excited? Everyone is pointing that out to her. Oh my god. That's not for Boston is buzzing about all these. Hey, Kim. Oh god, she's just having like feelers for him now. Dickinson's? Where are we sitting? The orchestra. Back row. Why didn't you give us a box? Yes. First you stick me in a hole, now you try to put me in a box. The orchestra is <laughs> very good too. Oh, I'm sure it is. Yeah, and I just have to talk to Sue. Do you think you're cheating me? Okay, so I'll uh, see you after the show. Oh, no, Sam, wait. Don't go. I thought you wanted to talk. Oh. No, not really. I just, I just want to talk to you. Okay. Of course. The poet needs a word with her editor. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought Sam, we were going to talk. You're not here alone, are you? Where's Mary? Oh, she, um, she couldn't come. Oh, oh. shame. I'm dying to see her. Yes. <laughs> She's like, well, oh, uh, she wasn't too bad. feeling very well. Again. Yes, because now you can sit with Sam in his box. I, oh, I, Sam, I really she don't. has to. It's her first time at the opera, and Adelaide May is performing. This is the opportunity of a lifetime, especially for such a sensitive artist as Emily. And she's pushing them together. That's all right. Okay. I'd love to sit with you. You absolutely must. <laughs> Sam, be a gentleman. Let her sit with you. If she's down there all the way in the back, she won't even be able to see. Remember, she has eye troubles. I write it. All right. <laughs> all right, well, I suppose there's no point in having an empty seat. I don't know if Sue, Ooh. what is Sue's game? Like, she wants them together. No, because she likes Mary, so I don't think that's a thing. Hey. So, I don't know. Oh, the new one. They're talking like she's one of his conquests. I can't wait to hear this Adelaide May sing tonight. I'm supposed to interview her after the show. You get to go backstage. Of course. Now this she is wants a new to opera. go. They, uh, they need the press. Oh, this is so incredible. God, I miss the old gang. Let me ask your organizer reunion. Those were the days, man. We used to have such good times. You still have good times, don't you? I don't see love here at all. So I don't know what, what I can't remember why they got married. Honestly, I can't remember. It just, it doesn't make sense for me. <laughs> to me. La Traviata? It means the fallen one. Yeah, I knew that. You did? I studied Italian in college, okay? Yeah, but I dropped out. Okay. <laughs> I um, know if she's making him feel you know, bad because he doesn't people's know reaction or to what. Opera the first time, they will always love it. If they don't, they may learn to appreciate it, but it will never become part of their soul. Cool. That is true. When you love opera, you, I think you'll always love it. I don't remember the first time I heard someone singing opera, but I, I know I was like amazed. I was whoa. like, I probably did it on like on the internet and I was like, what the hell? Like, shit, that's amazing. And, or a movie, I don't know. And now I love it. Every time I hear someone sing opera, it's like, wow, it's 
great day. Mm. So many of my dreams have come true. I mean, nowadays life. you don't have to dress like that to go to the opera, all right? Emily, Tim, I just I would hope you. not to. Oh, don't mention it. It's I nothing. Have not. I didn't even pay for this one. You changed my life. Before I met you, I was nobody. Now, now my poem will be published. It will be published or not? What is why is she being like that? Emily, we have a problem. Okay, yeah. Here it comes. You wrote a letter to Mary. Yes, I did. I did. Well, 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 what do you mean? You wrote a letter to Mary. I and it made her feel extremely uncomfortable. She really did. Both that? of us, I should say. It made both of us uncomfortable. Your letter upset Mary so much. That's the reason why she's not here tonight. She refused to come because your letter made her feel so violated. So I don't understand. You wrote the craziest shit in that letter. You said I was like the sun. Like you're cold whenever I'm not there. Like every time I leave Amherst, winter sets in. Why would you write something like that? Because it's how I feel. A about a married man? To his wife? I was only trying to express yes, my well, gratitude. Listen, and my... you went a little too far this time. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't believe she Sometimes said that. Right, I, I lose control. I know. It's part of what makes you a great writer. You have to be aware of all the rumors. What rumors? Oh, come on, you've heard. So there are rumors, or they're not. Every true? time I choose to support a female voice, all the gossips on the East Coast think I have ulterior motives. Mary, she hears these whispers. And they upset her. But it's not true. They hurt her. Okay. Even though she knows in her soul, I'm always faithful to her. Now, I've tried to make myself absolutely clear. This interest that I've taken in you, it is purely professional. Okay, good. You do understand that. Good, good, good. Of course. I think she has mixed feelings about it, Mary obviously. Mary's the only woman on earth for me. Good, because you're married to her. I would never betray her. Sam, please forgive me. The fact that you are so faithful to your wife is one of the things that makes you such a great man. The romance? It's between you and yourself. Yeah. Okay, she completely like. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what they're saying, but I love it. <laughs> I don't know how much more of this <laughs> I can take. There's two kinds of people. The people that love it and the ones that hate it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh damn. Dresses like that's completely noticeable. Oh, like everyone can see you. Oh my god, that was awful. Please, let's oh. leave. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Are you really gonna do it now that they are so happy? <laughs> she grabbed her. She's hands. I have to go. Right now? I shouldn't have come. Mary needs me. I need to go home. Sam, wait! I have something for you. Go, what is it? Oh, shit. Did Sue see that? I think she's watching them from the other side. I don't know. Yeah, she's watching the right. <laughs> she's watching like Emily, right? 